Hey, good evening everybody, Dan here, Ultimate Boston Red Sox Collector page on Facebook and YouTube videos. I uh, want to start off tonight's video by sending a thank you out to YouTube. Uh, he makes YouTube videos under his name, Brett Stone. Um, we actually corresponded last week. Um, he subscribed to my channel, I subscribed to his. And seeing that he was a Cubs guy, I dug out the very few amount of Cubs cards that I did have, and I sent him a package. Um, I don't know if he's received his yet, but then he responded and corresponded saying he would send me a small package as well. So I got his cards today. Um, to show those real quick, um, I did have um, at least one card that I needed, and it'll also be the first one I show. It's a 2019 Topps X-Fractor, Chrome X-Fractor of Chris Sale. Uh, that one is going to go into the binder and off the want list. So thank you very much. This is a 2000 Upper Deck Pedro. Uh, 1990, I believe this is a 96 Clemens uh, Classic Confrontations insert card. 2013 uh, David Ortiz from the Topps Update series. 1987 Topps Turn Back the Clock, Carl Yastrzemski. This is, let's see... A 2019 Bowman Platinum, Andrew Benintendi. I'm going to have to check that one. I'm not 100% sure if I have that or not. This is a... Is it a refractor? No, it's a base. So 2019 Topps Chrome, Xander Bogarts. 2016 Donruss, Carly Strzemski. And from the 1992 Upper Deck Heroes series, Ted Williams. And the last card he sent me was Topps 205, um, T205 from 2003, I believe these are. Uh, it's Polar Bear back. So I think I may need this one as well, but I gotta double check my, oh, I double check my checklist. Um, but thank you so much, Brett, for the cards, and hopefully you'll get my package soon if you haven't already. And I'd uh, love to hear what you think about it on one of your videos. So I'll be looking for that. So today's mail day, other than that, was um, autographs today. Um, got two new certified autograph cards that I picked up really inexpensive from the same seller with free shipping. Um, received those today. First card is, let me just double check the year on this. Looks like it's from 2005. It's a Bowman Sterling uh, autographed and relic card of Michael Bowden. A prospect who never made it, um, but a very nice card nevertheless, and got it for about a dollar fifty, I think, free shipping. And then 2000 Bowman, this is uh, Bowman Chrome Prospects, Ryan Kalish. Uh, Kalish had his moments with the Red Sox, had a couple of flashes, got several opportunities, just never made it. I know he ended up going to the Cubs after and got some time in the majors with the Cubs, but never really did anything either. Um, this is a nice signature on the Bowman Chrome Prospect card uh, from the same seller. I think I paid $3 total for the two of them. It, there might have been a shipping charge, but if anything, it was maybe $0.75 cents for the two. So always happy to add a couple of autographs, certified autographs to the collection. Um, I shared those totals the other night, so we can plug two more to that. It looks like that will bring me up to 430 certified autographs now. And the third thing I got in the mail today was something really cool, and um, it's another team autograph baseball. Uh, I have had three of them. I had one from 1978, the team that was so good and blew that lead down the stretch. Um, very nice ball. I'll show that on another video at some point. And I also have a ball from 1990, Red Sox. And I also believe the other one I have is from 1988, I believe. So there's some Hall of Famers on those balls. The 78 ball has Carlton Fisk, Jim Rice, uh, Dennis Eckersley. Um, those are the three I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, and Yaz. Um, so at least four off the top of my head. The 90 ball would have Boggs. I'd have to look on it honestly to see if there's any other Hall of Famers that were on that team. This one today I got was really cool. It's from 1969. And one of the biggest reasons I wanted this ball was for to have Tony Canigliaro on a baseball. Uh, that's something I've always wanted. I'd obviously much rather have a single signed ball, but those, when they do show up, they go for 
thousands sometimes, depending on the condition of the ball. So this is uh, the 1969 ball. Seller sent it in a nice ball cube. Again, you're not gonna, really going to be able to see much there. If I hold it up, you can see manager Dick Williams' signature. And this has got some great signatures on it. I'm going to pull my... Oh, I just knocked it over. Well, I guess that's not going to work. It's got some great signatures. Yaz is on the sweet spot on the other side. I hate how he they sign over the logo. And it's very hard to make out. But you've got Yaz on this ball. Um, you've got Tony's brother, Billy Canigliero. Um, looks like Dick Schofield. Sorry, my, see if I can fix my light here. and salvage this here. Looking underneath, we've got... Jim Lonborg, Ray Jarvis. Uh, let's see. Some of these are just hard to make out. Mike Garman, Billy Canigliero, Joe LaHood. Looks like Russ Gibson. Rico Petroselli, Mike Andrews, and Tony C. Right there. I probably aren't going to be able to see it very well, but the Tony C. signature right above my finger there. It's on an official baseball. Um, it's a decent shape. I mean, I don't know how it would grade as far as a number on a ball, but it's legible for the most part. There's not a whole lot of yellowing on it uh, for a ball that's over 50 years old. So I was really excited to get that. The seller actually has three or four other balls. I think he has a 72, he has an 86. He's asking a little bit more than I want to spend on an 86. Um, I know 72 I saw, and I want to say he has an 83 and an 85. I uh, wouldn't mind getting those. They're all starting around 50. I think he has a 93 ball also. Um, he started them at 50. I got it for 51. <laughs> there was only one other bidder, and I outbid him um, at the last minute, and I was surprised that the bid only went up a dollar. Uh, some people don't really understand the concept of eBay. Um, if you're bidding on a higher price item or something that you really want, you better bid more than the next bid up on it. And in fact, I think he just probably bid the $50 because I think it's a $1 minimum increment from 50 to 51, which is what I want it for. Um, super fast shipping, got it with FedEx today. Um, I wanted to buy all of them, but I just didn't have the, uh, the funds right now to do that. So I showed a little restraint. Uh, they're still there. He's still got them up for auction. I might try to sneak in maybe on another one. We'll see. Um, if anything, I might go for the uh, the 72 ball because that would be an early Carlton Fisk um, and would also have Yaz on it. Um, it could possibly have Dwight Evans. Um, he came up in 72 or 73, so he could possibly be on that ball too. I'll have to research that a little more. So that'd be kind of cool to have an early Dwight Evans and an early Carlton Fisk on a, on a team ball also. So that was my mail day today. Um, I hope you guys liked the video last night I did about the pins. Did it on my cell phone um, so you wouldn't have to look at my face last night. Um, hopefully everybody liked that. Um, been going back, reading some comments from some of my videos. Um, I've been trying to comment back and like them. And um, hopefully I'm going to see some more subscribers coming. Still stuck at 13. Um, I know that Red Sox content isn't for everybody. Um, if you're a Yankee fan or a Blue Jay fan or an Oriole fan, you could care less about the Red Sox. And I get that. Uh, but I know that there's more collectors out there who like to hear about other people's collections. So I'm still looking for more subscribers. I really would appreciate it if I could get some more. So if you're watching my videos, if you don't mind subscribing, that would be really appreciated. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything new to talk about tonight. I did place a rather sizable Burbank order through Beckett Marketplace today for Burbank sports cards. Um, about 125 cards, all from my 2009 want list. I did a search for cards priced between 50 and 75 cents. And I was pleasantly surprised at how many cards I was able to find um, that I did not think I'd be able to get in that price range uh, to knock off my newly posted 2009 want list. So um, probably get those in about a week. They're a little bit slower shipping uh, as California, I believe is still shut down right now. So, but they, uh, the last time I ordered during this, I got them here in about a week. So normally they're two, three days uh, from California to Maine, they're really, really top notch and uh, a lot of people don't like them but I've always had good experiences with them and uh, they've really been a big part of bolst bolstering my collection totals so um, so yeah I look forward to getting that in the mail and making some big dents on my want list so that's all I got for tonight 
I hope everybody has a good rest of your, your evening and we will probably talk tomorrow night. Take care, everyone.